grown women, but the most important goddesses were black. Not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who's represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vase. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is a What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his truth? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. pray.
in the house. We in the house. We in the house. Man, family, listen. I haven't done one of these in a while. I had to remember what book we was coming from. We are coming from the African openings. Well, my fault. Well, actually, we come from the African openings to the tree of life. And we have the workbook that was created by Terhasaliam Chinganji. You get this on, um, on. you just go to AfricanDeepThought.com. You get, to get this book um, that was redone. This workbook by um, Sister Tara Hassel, man, she did an excellent job. She put her foot in it. Go and give her some support. Give the journey some support because she, I mean, she has been totally generous with the with the PDF. You know what I'm saying? Because we got it in digital form. And we're going to go through and we're going to try to cover about three of these proverbs. I figured um, 7 o'clock would be the best time for me to start doing the show because 9 o'clock I could not make it. Um, it was too hard for me. And then it's like one of the things that I'm learning about doing this show is that the longer the longer I put the shows off, the harder it is for me to do it. Now, when I was, I mean, and when I say younger, family, please understand, I'm talking less than four years, right? It's been a four-year change. And it's like I get an anxiety when I do a show and I have to just jump in. You understand what I'm saying? Because if I don't jump in, I won't do it. Because this, whether you know it or not, is can be very terrifying because you don't know what people's reactions going to be. You don't know what, you know, then on top of that, when you start getting complaints about how you do things sometime from people that's not creative. So one of the things that I have started learning to do is not care. You know what I'm saying? I listen to your opinions and all that. But sometimes I just can't care because I do what I do. And what I do attracted you enough so that you could listen. So please listen and get the wisdom and leave the, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like eating meat. You don't sit up there and chew on the damn bones beyond the point. Cause some people do chew on bones. I have noticed that, but you is, it's only a certain point you could chew on the bones and eventually you got to spit it out or eat the fruit and spit out the seeds family. You know what I'm saying? Get what what's here for you and keep it movement. If you don't like it, and keep it moving. I, you know, I no no hard feelings, no anger, none of that. I my goal is as a, as Giami Journey is to make sure that I'm bringing quality and well not look, yeah quality as much quality as I can as well as bringing value. I'm trying to add value to your life. I want you to think about some of the stuff we go through, some of the stuff you go through, and I want to inspire you to do something different. To do something empowering. And if I'm not doing that, then feel free to go somewhere else. Right? Um, so, family, here we go. So, let's go. On. We are on uh, tribal quotes. And right now, we are on the fourth chapter. And the fourth chapter of the African Deep Thought Workbook. For those that want to keep up with us on Giami Journey as well as support what we do, you can go to AfricanDeepThought.com. That's AfricanDeepThought.com, and you can go and purchase the book. And, of course, a portion of that money that you spend is going to go to Terra Hasta, and a portion is going to come to Giami Journey Media so that we can continue giving you what you need. Now, for those of you that are um, supporters, now let me say this. With the supporter package, right, you get everything that we do, everything that we do, Within that package. But you have to listen to me. When you go to Gumroad. To support Giami Journey Media. Right. You need to open yourself an account. I know it's tempting to go in real quick. And get everything. But open yourself an account. And from that account. That you open. Because it's free. Go and get your. Um, 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 GNJ.media supporter package. When you get the supporter package. What comes with that is a library. And in that library, listen to me, in that library, you get access to everything that we created and everything that we will create. So that means that at the end of the seven day free e-course, all the books that I talk about that are available in that package that I'm selling, you get for free. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, even for free, it's because of your support. And it's just at $10 a month. You know what I'm saying? You get all that stuff. You get everything that we do. Or deep discounts on stuff that we help people create. 
because the goal is to bring as much information as possible, but to make sure we got the cycle of reciprocity flowing so that we can eat. We can eat physically and you can eat mentally. So we are, we're, 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 we're trying to get that cycle going and we constantly talk about that. But we are on, um, in the ebook, it's page 162, in the actual hardback, which you can get actually from Sister Tara Hassan. And I'm going to get some type of number or some type of link from her that I can give to people because some people like the book. You know, I like the book. I like the book. I like to go to the book too. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but, you know, I understand that we are moving towards the digital age and a lot of stuff will be going away and a lot of stuff that we've been comfortable with may not be as available as it was before um so let's go for example it's kind of hard i understand they're coming out with another with another edition but it's kind of hard to get your hands on the african open industry of life this is my beat up copy because like i said this is um a workbook for my life this 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 book right here has saved my life uh, many a times it has helped me with many decisions in my life and reading it has made reading it and scribing it and then actually wrestling or doing that wisdom mining with these proverbs has helped to save and change me okay and you know like i said i would advise everybody to go through it because we got we got something in Giambi called scribing you know what i'm saying you got to become you got to become a scribe you know what I'm saying? You got the scribe. But anyway, um, let me open up the lines. So if there's anyone that want to call in and join in on the discussion, you can feel free to do so. And don't don't be scared. I'm not going to bite. I promise. I ain't going to bite. And if I do bite, it ain't going to be too hard. And it's hopefully it's something that we all could get over and keep it moving and continue growing. All right. So let's get it. Lines are now open. Lines are open. You can hit us up on, uh, let me put the black line. Black line, boom. Also, for those that are interested in supporting. Boom. Two in a row, they might block it. Oh, there you go. It went up. All right, went up. All right. You go to um, GNJ Media. Dot support. That's gnj. Media. Dot support. I mean, all this, all this digital property costs me a tax every year. So, and man, when they hit, it's gonna be. I'm gonna be hurt. Mm-hmm. All these ideas be sounding good at the beginning, but then at the end, it's like, oh, damn! I forgot about that. Damn! I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. You know, because like I said, um, you know, the streaming stuff, I mean, it's, I mean, it can be cheap, but like I said, if you want to bring quality, you want to get up to 1080p or even go to 4K and stuff like that, you got to go on and get you some quality equipment. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, like I said, because my camera, my camera is cool as far as a webcam, but you know, we're going to be moving to a whole nother level of camera very soon. Mark my words, because like I said, bringing you that quality, bringing you that quantity, and bringing you those things that will hopefully make you think. All right, so let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. All right, before we move on, I want to remind you, you are now standing in the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. All right, anime, get on it, girl. Of course, you know this is Tribal Quotes, and of course, this is a Heart of a Summer production. We strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradise. So here we go, here we go. First proverb of the day. Well, not proverb. Well, I mean, this is the proverb, but this is not the proverb of the day. This is, you know, in a sense, the ones we're going to be working on that you could be working on during the week if you got the workbook. First proverb is the fourth, is from the fourth chapter, the third proverb. It says, what does not strengthen must be released for it is a false treasure, say the knowledge holders. What does not strengthen 
must be released for it is a false treasure sitting in knowledge holders. Family, now this is a rough one for us because um, this, this is a very rough one because it's kind of hard for us to release things that or even it's hard for us to identify false treasures. I mean, especially in a world where a lot of stuff is artificial. Uh, we have false titles. Um, we have false values. We have false principles constantly being thrown at us. And what we have to start learning how to do is to really identify the difference between what's real treasure and what's fake treasure so that we can start improving who we are and improving our lives. Very simple. So what does not strengthen? What does not strengthen you is a false treasure. Many of us are going through struggles in our lives right now because we think that there's treasure at, another, at, at the other end. Like a lot, of, a lot of us are holding on to friends because we think that in some form or fashion, they might get the big break. They might be that one and we're holding on. We're holding to relationships because they might be that one. We're holding on to it. You know what I'm saying? Because we think that possibly there's gold at the end of the road. But if it's not strengthening you, if it's not strengthening you, if it's constantly weakening you, and, and let me let me be clear, because there's a difference between um because when you are working out with something, something that strengthens you, strains you. Right? And your body has to rest. But if the strain is too much, it'll damage your body. So you do have individuals that do work their muscles until their muscles start coming in and, and the body is beautiful. But there are also individuals who have worked their bodies to a point where their bodies is no longer useful to them. So we got to understand the difference between a workout and a stress out. All right, a workout and a stress out. Many of us are living our lives and we are caught up in stress out situations. It's not strengthening us, it's wearing us down. We are in relationships that are wearing us down. We are we have financial obligations or some or, or we make a financial decisions that are wearing us down. We are overburdened. You know what I'm saying? And we keep thinking that because we're pushing and because we're going through this hard time is making us strong. Sometimes too much stress, sometimes too much weight, sometimes too much can be too much. And if the body breaks out, because remember, in the Daily Toast, what we talk about is that if we allow our temple to be broke down, how can we serve our ancestors? Well, brother, I tell you, I can think great thoughts and write great books. Cool. But, you know, if you come here and you have a full temple, you know what I'm saying? You should be trying to go to the other side with a full temple. You understand what I'm saying? You you should, your, your body should naturally wear out. You shouldn't be wore out by stress, over stress, because we need stress to grow. If it does not strengthen, it must be, be released, for it is a false treasure, said the knowledge holders. This whole chapter is about you developing you. I mean, this whole book is about you developing you and doing that work. You know what I'm saying? Doing that healthy work, doing that healthy workout, doing that balanced workout. It has enough positive attributes and enough negative attributes to build you up. But many of y'all caught up in cycles that are very destructive. And you think it's a sign of weakness that sometimes you just be like, I quit. People laugh at my shirt, I quit. Sometimes we got to say, I quit. There's an art to quitting. And there's an art to saying no. And many of us have to go and, and warrior up so that we can know when it's time to quit. See, for example, in Giammi, we talk about um, honor, loyalty, and sacrifice. The whole honor piece, when you go into it, right? The whole honor piece, that when you go into it, it deals with the principles of my eye. And if what you are doing does not line up with the principles of my eye, 
in your life, in your community life, in your tribal life, if it doesn't line up, it's not honorable. So you shouldn't be doing it. And many of the situations that we're caught up in our lives, many of the arguments we caught up in our lives, many of the battles that we're caught up in our lives, many of the struggles that we are dealing with in our lives do not line up with my eye, which means that we shouldn't be involved with them. So we need to move on. We need to move on. Be mad for a second. Allow yourself to go through the emotions. Don't, I ain't saying just to bury the emotions. Just don't. Go through the sadness. Go through the sorrow. Go through whatever you need to go through. But realize you have to give it up. Because if the first, because those are three steps. Honor, loyalty, and sacrifice. And gee, I mean, honor, loyalty, and sacrifice. If it makes it past the honor point, then we can start talking about loyalty. Many of us are practicing loyalty first. And let me be honest with you, because I have made this mistake. Loyalty first, especially when it comes to tribe, especially when it comes to family. If the honor is not there, you are not obligated to the loyalty. Let me say that again. If the honor is not there and that honor aligns you with something higher, that's what it's, you know what I'm saying? When you, it's, it's higher. It's something you can look up to. If the honor is not there, if you're looking down at it, in most cases, it's not honorable. So you are not obligated or to, to practice the loyalty, to honor the loyalty and the sacrifice, right? What does not strengthen must be released, family. Those things that are in our life that we, um, that are not aligning up with our principles, and people be like, well, I don't practice the laws of my out. Then what are your principles? Identify your principles. Be clear on them. Find them. Know what your principles are so that you can stand on it so that you know before you get involved with something that they line, it aligns with those principles. If it does not align with those principles, you need to be heading in different directions. What does not strengthen? See, because a lot of us don't have the tools to evaluate what really strengthens us and what is really killing us. Because we don't practice, we don't, we, we don't practice those principles. Y'all laugh at Brother High Tim because he took the days of the week and changed them. And people be like, uh, I said the wrong day, I gotta do push-ups. Oh, that's foolish. <laughs> no. Please understand that up that people are grasping and understanding the principles and they understand that the seven push-ups if they are able to do those are teaching them a lesson it's teaching them and it's helping them align because in their mind they're like oh i got to remember to change my mind about how i categorize categorize the day of the week how how do i categorize the day of the week leads to you thinking about other things because now on a regular basis you are speaking your principles. What they say, the life and death is given by the tongue. I have a crew of individuals that speak about their principles on a daily basis. What day we meeting? Ujamaa. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. All right, cool. Ujamaa. Right? They got to realign their whole thought pattern. Right? And I'm giving them tools, and we're giving them tools in Giami Journey so that they can start really evaluating what strengthens and what kills. They're learning to identify the false treasures in their lives and getting rid of them. Many of you are holding on to false treasures. Many of you are holding on to fool's gold. Thinking. That is real gold. Thinking that at the end of the struggle is going to meet out some type of reward. But family, that is a false, that's a false narrative. That's a false story you're telling yourself. All it got for you at the end of that road is heartbreak and physical destruction. All right. So I think I did enough with that one. Let's move on to the next one because I'm not going to hold y'all because I know y'all busy. It's a, it's a Ujima night, and I know y'all got stuff to do. Said the knowledge of the sacrifice open doors. No true entering is done without sacrifice. Now, if I'm correct, let me check this chapter. I want to check this chapter. 
fourth chapter. The exercise, the, this chapter is called the exercise of sacrifice. And I want y'all to understand how they worded it. They worded it, exercise of sacrifice. Sacrifice is an exercise. What does exercise do? It strengthens us. Sacrifice is an exercise. And the question before we even go any farther is, family, what sacrifices are you, are you, are you giving right now? Many of you belong to organizations and you make no sacrifice to it. Many of you claim that you belong to tribes, but you're making no sacrifice to it. Many of you say you believe in movements and you make no sacrifice to it. The exercise of sacrifice. We have a culture that believes that I'm not really supposed to sacrifice. I'm just supposed to benefit. Like, for example, I talked this morning about the uh, the whole thing about GameStop, where the stock, you know what I'm saying, the stock is going up because people who believe in GameStop, um, GameStop and, and love GameStop don't want the hedge fund people to take it and destroy it like they do everything else. So they start buying the stock to mess up what the hedge fund, what the hedge funds people was trying to do. Right. But other people look at that as an opportunity so I could get in without putting any blood, sweat and tears and I can go and take advantage of it. Right. Right. Because that's how a lot of us live our lives. I want to be a vulture. I want to be able to get the E. I want the I want I want something that's already killed. I don't want to get to kill myself. Ooh, that stock is going up. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take advantage of it. And, you know, in some cases, I, I understand. You know what I'm saying? But now, if you read the story about what's going on with the GameStop thing, if you if you are participating in that, trying to get yourself a quick game, I really got to wonder about you. Right? I really got to wonder about you. Just saying. Because you, you, you understand what's going on. I'm going to make a quick buck. And those type of people, you got to watch out for, family. Because there's plenty of people... Who want to make a quick buck that actually have a price tag on your relationship? (laughs) How much is our relationship worth? Right? Some of y'all, I want y'all, some of y'all have never experienced a priceless relationship where no amount of money could get you to betray or turn your back on this individual. Many of you have never experienced or probably maybe never realized that you have experienced a priceless relationship. In tribes, see, this is why I'm talking about tribes instead of building a business or instead of building a brand. I'm trying to build a network of individuals with priceless relationships. Because the relationship is priceless, we could do nothing but live by the principles. Mm. All right, but that might be that might have flew over some of y'all head because it's all about it's all about it's all about the the money, right? The illusion, the illusion, right? Because tribes understand that the tribe creates the money, but the tribe protect the resources that back up the money. The tribe controls the resources that back up the money. And many of us don't realize that the money is just an illusion that could be changed at any time. It's a medium medium of exchange, family. A medium of exchange. Come on. What's up, um, Navita? Lines are open 614-556-4535. Once again, that number is 614-556-4535. Feel free to jump in and let's have a conversation. If not, you know what I'm saying? I just keep running my mouth. So let me get to this proverb. Say the knowledge holders. Sacrifice opens doors. No true entering is done without sacrifice. Many of us want to live our lives without having to give up something, not realizing that Part of the universal mechanism, part of the, 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 the way the universe works, it requires us to have to give something to get something. Better yet, 
We got to give something of value to get something of value. Many of us want to give away things that ain't even ours and talk about it as a sacrifice. Come on, fam. Our ancestors have already laid the path for us. They are already laid it down. So all we got to do is follow the roadmap that they gave us. That's why I keep on telling you. You got to put on your clothes and be ready to do some wisdom mining. Get your daily toaster shirt out. Come on now. Do some wisdom mining. Remind yourself on a daily basis. Do some wisdom mining. You understand what I'm saying? Sacrifice opens doors. When we give of ourselves, when we really take time to do the sacrifice, when we give something a value up so that we can get something else, some of y'all are selling your time rather than sacrificing your time. Those of you that are just selling your time and you think you need to sell all your time, you will never get where you think you're going. You're selling your time rather than sacrificing your time. Those that sell their times are called employees. Those that sacrifice their times are called entrepreneurs. But maybe, I don't know if y'all get me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that point hits you or not. Those that sell their time are employees. Those that sacrifice their time are entrepreneurs our tribe builders, our nation builders, because it's like this, boom, okay, I got to sell some of my time so I can live right now because we don't control the resources in this country. But the time that I sacrifice, that's the real work. That's the real work. But we don't recognize that. Like I said, because we got plenty of people in our community that are sacrificing their time, and it's just a matter of in other individuals taking advantage of that. Ooh, I could make a come up off of this. Ooh, I could pay my electric bill off of this. Not realizing you taking that universal currency and using it for foolishness. many ways it's like treason you're turning on your whole culture you're turning on who you really supposed to be we got to we got to we got to really start learning how to sacrifice properly and decide on what we sacrifice and for and be clear on it no true entering is done without sacrifice you don't get Anything that's real easy for you to get in, it's not even worth being in. There's a joke that uh, Groucho Marx used to say. He said, any club that will have me, I don't want to belong to. It's easy. Like, and people are like, well, well, getting a Giami easy, is it really? Is it really? Giami is a, is a group that's composed of individuals that are in by osmosis and by ritual. All those that are able to claim Giami have made some form of sacrifice to be with us and continue to make that sacrifice on a monthly and some of us on a daily basis. You're not Giami if you're not sacrificing. You're not Giami. Remember, remember the three, honor, Lord, and sacrifice. After you find out what you're doing is honorable. You move to that, you move to that, uh, excuse me, excuse my finger. You move to that loyalty. After that loyalty, you make that sacrifice. A lot of y'all want something without having to give anything. Universe don't work like that. It's a false treasure. It weakens you. Mm. Say the knowledge holder. Sacrifice opens doors. No true. Entering is done without sacrifice. Let me check. All right. Once again, call lines are open. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to move on. I got one more proverb to do, and we are done, and I will see you next week unless somebody called in to have some conversation with Brother High Tim about the proverbs or about some other stuff that's going on in the world that I might have missed. All right. 
Moving to the next proverb. Bow. There we go. When one puts forth, one takes in, said the knowledge holders. See, a lot of us, we just, once again, it's getting back to the whole piece. A lot of us just want to take in. A lot of us just want to take in. A lot of us just want to take in. And, and you know, when it comes to the outside world, right, we do the exchange. I say you my time, you give me the money. I say you my time, you give me the money. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to us dealing with each other, I just want the best. I just want to take in. I don't want to put out. You cannot have a tribe. You cannot have a community. You cannot have a nation with a bunch of motherfuckers trying to get over it. It don't work. People got to understand that when you put forth, that's when you take in. When one puts forth, one takes in. When you give, you receive. Many of us just want to receive. We want to be on the receiving end. We don't want to give. But that's how, see, sacrifice and reciprocity is how a true economic system runs. It's the, the sacrifice is the oil that keep the gears of the universe, keep the gears of reciprocity working. Reciprocity is the foundation of the economic system. Many of us don't want to put the oil in the gears. We think the gears should just work. Why are they sticking? Why is not working? Why we can't build nothing? What are you putting forth in a community? Now what you're giving to others, what are you putting forth? In your community. What are you building? What are you sacrificing for in your community, family? Come on now. Some of y'all playing. Some of y'all playing. Some of y'all playing scholarship games. I ain't got time for it. I really don't. I don't have time for it. Giami ain't got time for it. Right, family? So now, those of you that are serious, y'all hook up with us. Y'all can check us out. Check out our free G&J e-course. Um... Go to uh, our free gnjecourse.com. That's free gnjecourse.com. I'm going to put it up. Bow! There you go, free gnjecourse.com. Find out about Giami Journey. Let's come together and let's build. Family, listen, I ain't going to hold y'all up because obviously some people scared to call in. I know I ain't talking to you, Navita. I know you ain't scared, but you know. Um, hopefully you got something out of this. If you got something out of it, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And then on top of that, make sure you go to gnj.media, as you see up on that screen right there. And you come over and you join us over in gnj.media because we're trying to build our own. We ain't trying. We built our own platform. Now we just need people to help us go on and master it. I need to know how many people are going to come on there before it crashes. I need to know all that. We got to do all the work that YouTube did in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? That Google did it at the beginning, that Amazon did it at the beginning, so we could build a network specifically for us. Kwanzaa 365 all year round. All right? So, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim, and guess what? I'm out the box.